Something I've struggled to do over the three and a half years that I have been on YouTube now is finding the right time to call it quits with a series, and this series is no different. With the draft -to series on the NHL side of things, we have the 25-year limit, and even then, on occasion, it sucks to have to end a series because you get attached to the players, and more often than not, we still have chances to be successful beyond our defined stopping point. And again, this series is no different. There is no denying with this roster, with some of the prospects that we have in the system, someone like Orlando Rosas as a starting pitcher, Henry Lewis has yet to make it but is clearly ready to go, Eric Valencia, Jose Cardenas as we get into the B potential guys, there is still so much more talent that can be joining this team, not to mention the talent that is already here. There's no denying that if we were to continue this, we would be successful year after year. It's just whether or not we would win the World Series. Of course, that question is still up in the air for this year, which is why we are going to call it either at the end of this episode or at the end of the next episode. We are either making it to the World Series or the buck stops here, and this series ends off the back of a horrifically disappointing loss here in the NLCS. Our first ever trip to the NLCS. There is no denying after winning 111 games, this is our best chance to get the job done. And with MLB The Show 19 on the horizon, I gotta admit I have a little bit of a renewed interest. I'm gonna be getting the game. I'll be having franchise mode content on the channel. Road to the show, I'm not quite sure because I don't know if I'm gonna stay interested in that mode. I don't know, be a pro modes have never really done it for me. But regardless, I am gonna be making videos for 19. So what I wanna do, of course, is end the series and take a little bit of a break, recharge the batteries. It sucks to know that this is it or that this could be it because again, I love this team. I love how we're set up right now. The core of this team is phenomenal, and it's going to suck to, again, not see... I mean, really someone like Henry Lewis in particular, who has the opportunity to be a really, really good player. It's, again, one of those series where I wouldn't be surprised if, like, on Twitch I go back and revisit it and then maybe upload a bit to YouTube. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so often I don't get around to that because it's like, ooh, shiny new toy, and I just forget about this, but... This, I hope, will prove to be the penultimate episode rather than the series finale. We take on the San Francisco Giants in the NLCS. Let's take a look at what we are up against here. Carlos Cortez leads the way at the top of the rotation. 12-8 record on the year with a damn fine 2.99 ERA on the season. Angel Espinosa. 29-year-old Venezuelan was 12-8 on the season with a 3.28 ERA. Jose Moya, the 25-year-old, Jesus Christ, Venezuela. My God, 7-7 seven seven record, but a 3-2 ERA, which is, again, phenomenal. Freddy Perez, Cuban. You sure he's not Venezuelan? Also had a great regular season. And Tino Serrano, New York, sure. I mean, really, their entire rotation was amazing. And in terms of the bullpen... Not the highest overalls across the board, but I'm sure they were fine. And Lincoln Compton as their closer, huh? Right. What's that lineup looking like? I mean, again, in terms of the pitching staff, who's to say who has the advantage? Lineup-wise, though, we have the advantage. There is no denying that. Alex Finch, their highest-rated player at shortstop. 282 average, 16 home runs on the season, 333 on base. Dave Henley, the 26-year-old, 15 home runs, 260 average on the year. John Brady, at first, the 31-year-old, decent enough, I would say. Drew Waters at DH, which of course will not be a factor. He'll actually be in left. It's going to be Will Medina, who ends up taking a seat because of that. But Waters, 315 average. On the season, Scott Elia at second with a 271 average on the year. Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray. 273 average for one Kyler Murray. Lamar Walton, 26-year-old rookie, had a great rookie season. Ray Sosa, at catcher, had a decent enough year. And then we get to the pitchers. In terms of the ratings and what we're looking at, are we the better team? 
I'd like to think so, really, but who's to say for sure? All I know is that the pressure is absolutely on us to get the job done. So let's do it. I believe in this team, damn it. I believe in this team. Steve Carrasco will be taking the mound for game one. Sorry, Pedro, but for obvious reasons, we're going with Carrasco. In terms of the lineup, I do think I want to mix up the lefty-righty dynamic if we can. So, again, unfortunately for someone like Lawson, he's not going to be in. But I think it's tough because both Vasquez and May struggle a little bit. But I think we're going to swap those two. And then there's really not a whole hell of a lot we can do with Shipman and Lau going back to back there. We are going to go with basically the lineup. In fairness, you know, we'll go with Archie May. Two lefties in a row. Yeah, maybe not. We'll go with that. We are pretty much sticking with the lineup that got us here. Of course, we ended up having to make some significant changes. Marlon Pugh, I mean, he has an RBI, but hitless in that last series. Pressure is on to get the job done. Steve Carrasco pitched an absolute gem in his first appearance in the last round. Will this be the last time I get to say, game one, first inning, let's get it underway. Carrasco gives up a single to Finch. Throw a pickoff, safe, throw another pickoff, safe yet again. Henley lines out, throw a quick little pickoff. Barty, sack bunt, water strikes out, and we get out of the inning. Quinlan, Edwards, Bloom, one, two, three, unfortunately. Giants can't get anything going either. Marlon, Vasquez gets our first hit of the game. May strikes out, Shipman strikes out as well. Nothing doing through the first two innings, just one hit apiece. As Sosa... Hits a leadoff single. Sack bunt moves him over. Finch pops out. Henley singles. And the runner is thrown out at home. We dodge a bullet. Can the offense get going? Lau with a double. Carrasco will bunt him over. Quinlan, I hate you. Edwards, I hate you. God damn it. They always seem to fail in that situation. Barty with a leadoff single. Waters flies out. Elia lines out. Murray hits a two-run home run. We're down two to nothing. Two out double there for Walton. Sosa walks. Cortez drives home a run. It's three nothing. And needless to say, I'm a little bit worried as Carrasco is falling apart. A four run top of the fourth for the Giants as we desperately need to get something going here and we don't. Our ace gets roughed up. Rebounds of the one, two, three inning. But we only have two hits in this game thus far. Archie May with the hit gets the steal. Shipman singles. Runners at the corners. Tom Lau singles home a run. We're on the board. Carrasco can't bunt them over. Quinlan into a fielder's choice. Runners at the corners with two outs for Edwards who grounds out. Another wasted opportunity. Murray reaches on an error. Lead off. Okay. Carrasco, I'm giving you a chance to get out of this. Fly out, Cortez pops out, Finch walks. Carrasco, I'm trusting you here. And you got it, thank God. Bottom of the sixth, Bloom grounds out, Pew grounds out, Vasquez hits a solo shot. Big game so far for Ramon, it's a two-run game. May grounds out, that'll be the end of Steve Carrasco. I think, probably gonna go with Velez. I think we're probably going to go with Velez. Let's do it. Chris, what do you got for us? Barty flies out. Waters grounds out. Elio with a two-out double. Murray grounds out. We're out of the inning. Still need that offense to pick up. Shipman now against Eric Boggs. He reaches on a single. Lau, back-to-back -back singles. I'm going to take out Velez. So tempted to bunt, but we're going to pinch hit. And we're going to give Cabrera the chance. He walks. Quinlan, no outs. Bases loaded, strikes out. Edwards, one out, bases loaded against Daryl Chan. <sighs> Do I want lefty lefty? Do I want lefty lefty? I don't. Edwards, this is tough, but you've been pretty bad. We have Kay, Serrano, Salinas, and Lawson. Lawson, 
Singles home a run. Bobby grounds out. Marlon walks. Ramon. Ramon flies out. Oh, man. We do tie the game, but a massively wasted opportunity as we will bring on scarily Norman Garner. He's going to have a very, very short leash. I also need to take out Lawson for somebody. <laughs> but I'm not sure who. Probably Quinlan. Fuck, I'm going to have to jump into the game to properly switch that around. So let's do it. Yes, I would like to jump in. Thank you very much. It's weird how you can't do like proper switches. Like you can do substitutions, but you can't do proper switches. Regardless, we have ourselves a tied game. Remember too, it's Baltimore and Kansas City. In the ALCS, I don't know if I can trust Norman Garner. We'll see what happens, though. It's a tie game, four apiece, top of the eighth. And a big-time moment for Norman Garner, who has had his ups and a lot of downs in his career. Let's see what we can do. So Quinlan, we are going to put at second base. Vasquez goes to short. Marlin goes to third, Bloom goes to first, and Lawson plays in left. Perfect. Perfect. Back to quick manage we go. Although, you know what? Oh, fuck, Garner has to face him, doesn't he? I should have paid attention. Thank God we get out of it. Come on, Norman. Come on, against Will Medina. Yes, Norman Garner, well done. Archie May against Cole Wynn. Solo shot, Archie May. We take the lead. Five unanswered runs. Archie May, a former MVP candidate, gets the job done. Lau and Shipman can't get anything going. We will pinch hit Garner. Let's give Serrano a chance to go for it. He pops out. To the top of the ninth we go. And a chance to close out the game for Will Vincent, he walks Finch. Dave Henley pops out. Barty walks. Waters strikes out for the game. It's Elia. He walks. Oh my God, Kyler Murray. <sighs> Will Vincent against Kyler Murray. Game one of the NLCS. Can Will Vincent... Get the job done. High fastball inside corner. Strike one. Come on, Will. This is what you've been waiting for. Your talents have been wasted almost your entire career. Come on. Pitch number two. Misses on the inside corner. Low fastball. Game one. Bases loaded. Two outs. Top of the ninth. Kyler Murray. Vincent the pitch. Murray hits it to right. I don't even know who's there, and it does not matter. The Reds come back from 4-0 down to win it in regulation. 5-4 is your final. Game one to the good guys. Garner gets the win. Archie May with a clutch hit. And we survive. Somehow, someway. Despite Carrasco getting a little bit more roughed up than we may have expected it was good enough to get the job done. May 2 for 4. Vasquez had a great game. Tom Lau was phenomenal. Lawson as well. And Will Vincent gets his second save of the postseason. Again, Bobby might not be uh, might not be leading the way. Marlon might not be leading the way. But we have so much depth in this squad that we can win games without them getting the job done. And again, if they're able to get it together... We're nearly unbeatable. Game two. It is not going to be... <sighs> I don't want to run Joseph Die Unless he's 100%. I don't think. Joseph gets the chance. Let's do it. Joseph, I wish you luck. As far as the lineup is concerned, again, we'll have Vasquez and then the May set up. Again, we only have three lefties in the lineup unless I run Serrano. So that'll be that'll be the team. Marlon. 
you have to wake up. You have to. And maybe flipping you with Archie May is going to be the way to do it. The unfortunate thing here, though, is that Tom Lau deserves an opportunity to be hitting higher in the lineup. And you know what? I'm going to reward him. I'm going to reward him. He is doing so well this postseason. He deserves that chance. He really does. So we're going to go. Quinlan, Lau, Bloom, May, Vasquez, Pugh, Shipman, and Edwards. And kind of have that lefty-righty switch uh, towards the back and towards the middle and back half of the lineup as opposed to up top. Let's see what happens. Joseph Dye also pitched a gem in his first postseason appearance. Finch flies out. Henley with a one-out single. Barty pops out. Waters also pops out. Good start. Espinoza on the mound for the Giants. Quinlan with a leadoff single. will go for it. He gets the steal. Lau grounds out. Bloom with the two-run shot. Let's go, Bobby. That is the type of performance, that type of clutch hit early on in the game that I expect from you. Well done. Vasquez walks with two outs. Marlin grounds out, but we have an early 2 to nothing lead. Thanks to Joe Quinlan and Bobby Bloom. Well done, fellas. Elia reaches on an arrow to kick things off. Murray with a single. Elia over to third. <sighs> Walton singles. Oh, my God. Sosa strikes out. Espinoza strikes out. Finch grounds out. My God, what an effort from Die to get out of that situation. Shipman walks to lead off. Edwards singles. Die is able to bunt them both over. Quinlan singles and both score. We're up four to nothing. Lau singles. Bobby Bloom flies out. Archie May with runners at the corners. Two outs. Singles home. Another run. It's five to nothing. As we get to Espinoza early, Vasquez with two outs flies out, but again, 5 nothing through two innings of work here. Henley walks to lead things off. Barty strikes out. Waters flies out. Elia grounds out. Well done, Joseph. Die. Pew strikes out. Shipman singles. Edwards strikes out. Die. Go for it. Strikes out as well. Murray flies out. Walton with a ground out. Sosa with a fly out. Joseph Die is killing it right now. Quinlan with a leadoff single. Lau with a follow-up single. Back-to-back to, back to start things off. Bloom against Gio Irwin. So that is it for Espinoza. Bloom into a double play. May with a two-run shot. I was about to say, maybe I should have stolen second there. Archie May with a two-run shot. 7 nothing is your score. Vasquez walks. Pew with a double and the runner scores. Marlon finally has his first hit of the postseason. It's an RBI double. It's 8 to nothing. Shipman grounds out and Joseph Dye is being taken out. We're going to go with Richie Burnett. And that way Dye can pitch again sooner rather than later. So Richie, welcome aboard, buddy. He faces Irwin. Now Scotty Varez, who walks, or Varus perhaps. Finch reaches on there. Ugh. Henley singles home two runs. It's 8-2. to two. Barty into a double play. Water strikes out. So an unfortunate error there. We have two errors defensively already in this game. Still 8-2. to two. Cole win on the mound. Edwards singles. Burnett uh, bunt him over. Thank you very much. In fairness, I should have stolen and then bunted, but what are you going to do? Quinlan walks. Lau into a double play. 8-2 to two through five innings. Elia grounds out. Murray strikes out. Walton grounds out. Well done from Burnett. Can we get any more offense going? The answer appears to be no. As Medina brought on. I don't even know what the hell is happening right now. Back-to-back -back singles. Fly out there. Runners at the corners with one out for Henley. Doubles home both runs. It's a four-run game. Barty flies out. Waters grounds out. Little bit nervous at this point. Daryl Chan on the mound. Can we get anything going? The answer is no. Burnett. I'm going to trust you here to not completely blow this. He gives up a solo shot to Murray. Solo shot to Walton. It is a two run game. <sighs> Anaya. Come on. Sosa strikes out. De Los Santos grounds out. We're out of it. Oh my god. Too close for comfort. Lawson against Bruce Travis. He walks. 
We get the steal. Do I want to pinch run? I do. Let's bring on Bryant K. Quinlan singles. Runners at the corners with no outs for Tom Lau. He singles home the run. Bloom, two on. No outs. Lines out. May in the same situation against Compton. Strikes out. Vasquez strikes out. To the top of the ninth we go. Will Vincent is a little bit tired, but he's going to get the chance. Finch strikes out. Henley singles. Barty strikes out. Waters flies out. Let's go. Nine to six. It was eight to nothing. It ended up being much closer than we wanted it to be, but we had to rest up Die, who was amazing. We get the win. Third save for Vincent. Burnett ends up being the winning pitcher. Joe Quinlan, four for four. Two runs, two RBI, a stolen base, and a walk. Absolutely tremendous. Tremendous performance from him. And we get the job done, despite some potentially questionable decision-making. RBI for Lau, two for Bloom, three for May, one for Marlin. Job well done overall. It was a pretty strong effort as well from Die through four innings of work. Burnett, I mean, gives up five runs, but we do survive. And we take a two games to zero series lead. Game three in San Francisco. This is where things are about to get very, very interesting. Can we put the pressure on? <sighs> Hell, we could go back to Joseph Die today if we wanted to. I think we're going to give Clyde the chance, though. I think that's the way to do it. That way we have Carrasco and Die for game six and seven if we need them. I'm going to go for Clyde here. I'm so very tempted to give Pedro his first chance. We're going to go for Clyde Martin, and we need a better performance from him. Desperately, oh God, excuse me. Desperately need a better performance from him. I'm still going to put Marlon, I think, towards the bottom of the order. And i got to be honest, Vasquez might go down, too. I think we're going to have two power hitters towards the bottom of the lineup. Vasquez has proven to be a little bit clutch. But still, I think it's worth it. And I think we go Quinlan, Edwards, Bloom, May, Lau, Shipman, Vasquez, Pew, and then Martin. So we have the three righties. Five, six, and seven. Let's see what happens. Joe Quinlan leads off against Jose Moya. He flies out. Edwards and Bloom, nothing doing in the first half of the inning. Leadoff single for Finch and a follow up walk. And I'm already nervous about Clyde Martin here. Barty, stolen base. Oh my god, Clyde. Clyde Waters walks and Clyde Martin. Elia singles, two run score. Murray into a fielder's choice. Walton into a double play. I was worried about Clyde Martin, and that does not exactly inspire confidence. So we can't get anything going there. Clyde, we need to... Okay, we need you to not walk the goddamn pitcher, Clyde. Come on. You're better than this. We get out of the inning. Top of the third. Can we get anything going offensively? I mean, a walk and a single, two outs, two on for Bloom, into a fielder's choice, though. Barty pops out, Waters with a solo shot, it's now four runs on three hits. Elia flies out, Murray pops out, 4 nothing through three innings. May walks to kick things off, gets the steal, Lau grounds out, Shipman grounds out, Vasquez reaches on there, Marlin flies out. The offense struggling thus far. Just one hit. Well done there from Clyde. I gotta be honest, I think that's it for him. I think that's it for him. I need to try and get something going here. I'm gonna use Cabrera. I'm gonna use Salinas. Tino, what do you got for us? You struck out. Quinlan grounds out. Edwards walks. Bloom walks. Archie strikes out. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. It is going to be... Hmm. I'm going to give Chris Velez the chance here. Finch grounds out. Henley with a double. Barty flies out. Runner at third. Two outs for Waters. He grounds out. 
Well done from Velez. Moya should be just about done. Tom Lau with a solo shot around the board. Now Moya should be done. He is. Thank you for leaving him on, San Francisco. Shipman pops out. Vasquez grounds out. Pew singles. I'm going to take out Velez because we got to go for it. Let's bring on Serrano. He flies out, though, unfortunately. It is going to be Cervantes who gets a chance. Very short leash here. Strikes out Elia. Murray grounds out. Walton flies out. Well done. Quinlan grounds out. Edwards. Bloom. Nothing doing offensively. We are really struggling here. Cervantes doing very well, though. Eric Boggs brought on here in the top of the eighth. Can we get anything going? Vasquez, come on. Damn it. Cervantes gives up a single to Henley. Barty strikes out. Waters with an RBI triple. Elia grounds out. Murray strikes out. 5-1, top of the ninth. Do we have anything going? Lead-off single for Pew. Uh, we'll bring up Lawson, who crushes a double. All right, we're on the board. 5-2. Quinlan against Kershaw. Doubles! There we go. Come on, boys. We can do this. 5-3 to three with no outs. Edwards flies out. Bloom strikes out. Archie walks. Tom Lau. <sighs> Fielder's choice. We had our chances. 5-3. Giants victory. They take game three. In the end, I can only be upset primarily with the offense. They just did not do enough. In that game, Bloom hitless, May hitless, Shipman and Vasquez hitless. It's not good enough, unfortunately. And the Giants are back in the series. It's down to a 2-1 to one series lead. And a very, very important game for here. And I have no idea who's going to be pitching. It's going to be, it's going to be Rodriguez. It has to be. Pedro, let's make something happen. As far as the lineup is concerned, I know I'm constantly moving things around but it's out of necessity really i don't care about overalls i care about people who are actually producing as they should be and unfortunately i mean we're not exactly where we should be right now are we so <sighs> it's a tough call because i don't want to drop anybody especially like dropping like a bobby bloom for underperforming it's it's an insane thought, but again, I would prefer to reward those who are actually performing at a high level. As insane as that is. As absolutely insane as that is, that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to play Henry Shipman in the three spot. Fuck it. Let's go for it. Quinlan grounds out. Lau triples. Shipman walks. Edwards into a double play. Damn it, Graham. Pedro, what do you got for us? Finch reaches on an error. Henley flies out. Barty flies out. Waters flies out. Well done, Pedro. Bloom with a strikeout. May with a single. Every time I steal, the subsequent hits are always, uh, you know, are always ground outs or whatever. So I'm gonna avoid that. Vasquez with an RBI double. We're on the board early. Pew walks. Pedro bunt him over. Or not. Quinlan. Bases loaded for Tom Lau. Hitting 414 this postseason. He grounds out. Damn it. Oh, Rodriguez hits Elia. Murray strikes out. Walton. Fielder's choice. Sosa strikes out. Well done, Pedro. Shipman grounds out. Edwards doubles. Bloom. Singles. Runner scores. There we go. 2 0 early. Archie walks. Vasquez singles, runner scores, Bobby with the wheels. It is 3-0, runners at the corners with one out. Marlin, 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 buddy, pal of mine, Marlin. Three-run shot. That is the Marlin Pew. that is the MVP candidate, the MVP winner that we know. It is 6-0. Pedro, swing away, he pops out, Quinlan grounds out, 6-0 through two and a half innings. Perez grounds out, Finch flies out, Henley flies out, Pedro, buddy. Smooth sailing here. Can we get anything going this half inning? No, we cannot. Barty walks. Waters singles. Elia flies out, Murray walks. Bases loaded one out for Walton. 
Fielder's choice. The lead runner's out. Same situation for Sosa. He grounds out Pedro Rodriguez, ladies and gentlemen. Bobby Bloom against Cole Wynn. Strikes out. May strikes out. Vasquez strikes out as well. Wynn pinch hit for it's Varus. Grounds out. Finch pops out. Henley strikes out. We're through five and we're up six to nothing. Pew against Irwin. He flies out. I'm going to keep Pedro in for the moment. Try to bunt. Doesn't get it. Quinlan flies out. Barty singles. Waters strikes out. Elia strikes out. Murray grounds out. Pedro Rodriguez. Yes. Lau walks to start off. Shipman into a fielder's choice. Lead runners out. Edward strikes out. Bloom flies out. And Pedro, can you stick around? Walton doubles, and that's it. I tried. <laughs> Let's bring on Velez. Sosa grounds out. Irwin pinch hit for its Will Medina. He flies out. Finch strikes out. Let's go, Velez. Well done. Archie May against Daryl Chan. Singles. Vasquez strikes out. Pew. Sack bunt. Velez. Let's see what Cabrera can do. He walks. Quinlan two on, two outs. Grounds out. We go to the eighth. And we are going to bring on Padilla, who has not seen much action. Henley with a leadoff double. Yikes. Barty singles. And there goes the shutout. Waters singles. Padilla, you get one more chance. Six to three. Chad Padilla, ladies and gentlemen. Chad Padilla. Let's bring on Garner. Murray grounds out. Walton grounds out. Sosa. Strikes out when Norman Garner's more reliable. Six to three here on the top of the nine. Tom Lau against Bruce Davis. He flies out. Shipman grounds out. Edwards lines out. You know what that means. Will Vincent with a chance to shut things down. De Los Santos is on. He singles. Finch strikes out. Henley strikes out. Barty doubles. It's a two run game. Waters represents the tying run. And he's out of there. The Cincinnati Reds have a 3-1 series lead. We are one win away from going to our first World Series in this series. Fourth save of the postseason for Will Vincent. Pedro Rodriguez with a gem that was nearly ruined by the bullpen. And we will have three opportunities. May, Vasquez, Bloom, Edwards. Great games across the board. And game five, we'll, rec we'll, uh, we'll recommend, we'll be remembered, we'll be uh, recognized as our first chance at closing out this series. Let's do this. Can we end this right here and right now and punch our ticket to the World Series? Joseph Die will be given the chance. If he falls short, Jason Lord gets it. And if not, Carrasco is the option in game seven. Although... I think I gotta go Jason Lord. Maybe. If I use Die here, he won't be pitching until game two or game three of the World Series if we make it. If I pitch Lord here, he falls short. We have to use Die in game six. I have to go for the throat. I have to go for the jugular. Jason, I'm sorry. But I have to, I trusted like Clyde Martin in his second chance after a bad start. He botched it. I don't trust you. We're going for the jugular with Joseph Dye. Absolutely have to. And as far as the lineup is concerned, we are going back with the old reliable setup, I feel. That'll be the best way to do it. Tom Lau is going to be moved up to second, though. So we're going to have the... Let's have righty, righty, lefty, righty, lefty, righty, lefty, righty. I'm digging that. I'm digging that. By moving Marlin up to uh, up to first. Although, you know what? I'm going to move Archie up there instead. Archie, Bobby, Marlin. I like that. I like that quite a bit. Let's do it. Quinlan leads off against Carlos Cortez. He grounds out. Lau singles. May into a double play. Let's see what Joseph Dye can do. A lot of pressure on him in this game that we're trusting him with this. Henley lines out. Barty flies out. Waters, fielder's choice. Well done, Joseph Dye. 
Bloom with a fly out. Marlon strikes out. Vasquez, one, two, three inning there for us. Elia, Murray, and Walton, one, two, three inning to follow up. Can we get anything going offensively? The answer is no. Can the Giants get anything going offensively? So far, the answer is no. Pitching duel thus far. As Lau gets just the second hit of the game, May into a fielder's choice. Bloom strikes out. Henley, Barty, and Waters. He walks. Elia, singles, runners at the corners. Two outs for Murray. Bases loaded, two outs for Walton. Yeah, so let's go die. Huge play. Huge moment there. Can we get anything going offensively against Cortez Ramon Vasquez? We know he has that power in his locker. He gets it done. one nothing on the breakthrough. Edwards singles. Shipman singles. We'll try to bunt them over with Die. He's successful. Two on, two outs for Quinlan, who strikes out, unfortunately, but we do strike first. We're up one to nothing. As Sosa walks to start things off. Cortez strikes out. Finch flies out. Henley. Grounds out, beautiful. Now I'm going obviously pick off every time to try and stop them from stealing. I don't know if that seems like an exploit at this point. Lau solo shot, Tom Lau. Three for three in this game. And well on his way to being playoff MVP. Archie May flies out. Bobby Bloom strikes out. Marlon Pugh lines out, but my God, Tom Lau. And again, the story of Tom Lau I never should have picked him. I should have gone with the starting pitcher, but look at what he's doing now. Barty walks. Waters into a fielder's choice. Elia singles. Murray double play. We're out of the inning. 2 0 through 6. And a chance to end this series today. Vasquez against Travis. Oh, shot. Maybe. Just maybe. Tom Lyle will not be playoff MVP because when Vasquez makes contact, you, the, the, the ball's gone. That ball's just, it's gone. It's gone. See you later. Goodbye. Edwards walks. Shipman walks. Die bunts them over. Quinlan against Chon lines out. Lau walks. May bases loaded two outs. Grand slam. We are going. We are going. There's no way this bullpen blows it. We are finally going to do it. We are finally breaking through. The first time we have made it to the NLCS, and damn it, we're going all the way to the World Series. Archie goddamn May with a grand slam. It is seven to nothing. My God. Die, you have done so well. Get that extra rest by not playing, buddy. Get that extra rest. Norman, come on down. See if you can close this one out. Walton grounds out. Sosa singles. Medina. Into a double play. 7 nothing through 7 innings. Cole win against Marlon Pugh. He flies out. Vasquez with a double. Edwards with a single. The runner scores. It's 8 nothing. Shipman flies out. And Garner. Now, I'm going to trust Norman here. We don't really need the run. Try to bunt. He ends up grounding out. Finch leads off the bottom of the 8th with a solo shot. San Francisco's on the board. Henley pops out. Bard singles. Waters flies out. Elia flies out to the ninth inning we go. Quinlan with a leadoff single. Lau into a double play. May flies out. I don't know if I trust Norman to close this one out or not. We don't need him, but damn it, he's going to close it out. Will Vincent against Kyler Murray grounds out. Walton strikes out. Ray Sosa represents the last out. We are one out away from going to the World Series, it's looking like it's going to be Baltimore. Unbelievable. Archie May with the grand slam in the seventh inning. And after all of the struggles, all of the disappointment, all of the underperformances for years, just waiting for this core group of players, the Quinlans, Edwards, Blooms, someone like Archie May developing out of nowhere, after all of this time, finally... Finally, we're here. Will Vincent, we're one out away, man. Make it happen. First pitch on the inside corner on the splitter. Doesn't happen. You think about how long Will Vincent's been a part of this team. You think about the likes of Brian Lopez and Steven Ryder, all the different names and faces on this team when it looked like, okay, maybe this will finally be the year, and we struggle again and don't make the playoffs. 
and then now on this run where it's been make the playoffs, make the playoffs, make the playoffs, but underperform, finally, finally, we're going to get the job done. The 2-1 count here from Vincent. Is the pitch hit into center field. Archie is there, and we will be there. If you're talking about there being the World Series, I cannot believe it. It has finally happened. The Reds are World Series bound. So many names, so many faces, so many people to mention. An unbelievable run. And it's not done yet. The Major League's best 111 wins. And it leads to a spot in the World Series. We are... We're finally going. We are... We are finally going. Ramon Vasquez, two home runs. A phenomenal game for him. Archie May... Joseph Die does it again. I said we were going for the jugular, and damn it, we did. We are four wins away from this finally happening. Four goddamn wins away from making this happen. Joseph Die, six innings of work, not a single run allowed. Vasquez, two solo shots. Lau with a shot. Archie May with a grand slam. 8-1 is your final. We down the Giants in just five games. And now we await either Baltimore or Kansas City. And it will be... Who's it gonna be? It's gonna be Baltimore. Orioles and Reds in the World Series. We have home field Damn it, we've made it this far. Nothing is going to stop us now. Tom Lau has led us to this point. In terms of postseason MVP, he is leading the way. No doubt about it. Everson Pereira, Nick Schnell, and Vander Samuel Franco leading the way there for the Orioles. But Tom Lau has been an amazing player for us. Eight wins down, four to go. Carrasco, Joseph Die. I don't know about the back end of the bullpen here or of the uh, rotation. I mean, that's pretty much those are the big three right there. And in fairness, Joseph Die is the big one. Carrasco is probably the second best option for us, and then Pedro was amazing in that one effort. Burnett got roughed up a bit as the long reliever. It's kind of tough to say who I trust here outside of Chris Velez. It's been rough otherwise. It has been very rough otherwise. Especially for someone like Chad Padilla. And then leading the way, again, Joe Quinlan, one home run, seven RBIs, three, uh, 389 average. Edwards has been okay. He's been good. I'd like to see him be better. Bobby has had his moments, but overall, it, it needs to be better. Same thing for Marlon. He's had his moments, but he needs to be better. Archie May, pretty damn good, all things considered. Vasquez has had his moments, you know, some real bright spots. And then Tom Lau has been phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal so far, and really all season long. Guys, thankfully, this was not it. We have one episode left. The series finale. Baltimore and Cincinnati in the World Series. I'll see you next time. <sighs> I love a dramatic ending. <laughs>